good afternoon viewers uh, in ireland and good evening viewers in india as you know indian media ensured that covid covid awareness messages important government guidelines and free consultations with doctors reached everyone in the country during the pandemic among them durdarshan and all india radio contributed significantly in delivering the message through prompt coverage ground reports and organizing programs on public health today our guest speaker is mr mayank kumar agarwal who will speak on role of india's public service broadcaster during the pandemic under ireland india friendship lecture series mr mayank agarwal is a senior officer of, of the indian information service of 1988 batch he is concurrently holding the positions of ceo prasar bharati and director general doordarshan and dd news he has long experience of working in various ministries and departments of the government of india and media units of ministry of information and broadcasting including all india radio indian institute of mass communication press information bureau national aids control organization that is nseo in ministry of health and family welfare and upsc over the years he has specialized in government communication he has widely traveled and participated in several national and international conferences he has been part of prime minister's media delegations in the past to the usa russia sri lanka zimbabwe and maldives he has been widely appreciated for his work on prestigious red ribbon express project in 2007 and 2009 for spreading awareness about hiv and aids in the country During his tenure in NSEO, he closely worked with UNICEF on production of the television serial "Kyunki Jina Isi Ka Naam Hai." In addition, he remained associated with several news documentaries and short films. He has participated and made presentations in the international AIDS conferences at Toronto in 2006, Mexico City in 2008, Vienna 2010, and the international conference on AIDS in Asia and Pacific. Bali in 2010 he he also headed the nseo event dp project on hiv aids mainstreaming before i request mr agarwal for his lecture i request his excellency ambassador for his introductory remarks on the paper sir please namaskar uh, at the outset i would like to express my very sincere profound gratitude to uh, my respected uh, uh, friend Uh, Mayank Agrawal ji for kindly accepting our invitation to deliver this uh, very special lecture. Uh, uh, this year happens to be a very special milestone for both India and Ireland. Uh, while we are celebrating uh, 75 years of our independence, Ireland uh, is celebrating 100 years of its independence. so as new ambassador of india to ireland uh, it's my great privilege to not only uh, retrospect about the past uh, bilateral ties but also strategize about the next 25 years uh, and while i am doing this i feel so fascinated and so humbled by the profound ties that have existed at the grassroots level between the political leaders and people uh, of our two countries and what really strikes out is that uh, what really defines the india ireland partnership is in the domain of ideas uh, social and political innovation uh, and artistic creativity whether it is concept of home rule whether it is concept of fighting uh, uh, through unconventional means uh, uh, the colonial forces Uh, whether we are drafting our constitution and our land leadership provides us practical inputs about functioning of a republican uh, constitution or the linkage uh, and the support uh, in the art and culture field uh, inspiration that uh, tagore and yates uh, had on each other and the historic role played by wb yates in writing the introduction of gitanjali uh, and proactively promoting tagore's gitanjali in the european literary circles leading to a uh, nobel prize to ravindra tagore so what i am looking for currently is uh, uh, reviving that old spirit of friendship and camaraderie and uh, there is definitely need for broader engagement between our two countries there is need to multiply the linkages and dialogues on uh, different themes between our two countries 
uh, so that uh, new ideas are created uh, uh, and new partnerships uh, are forced between the people. And the, the spirit of India Ireland Friendship Lecture Series is essentially to uh, trigger new ideas uh, uh, and disseminate the positive success stories and transformational changes which are taking place in India in different fields for the, idea, for the uh, uh, Irish people. And also the remarkable stunning transformation which is taking place in Ireland in every field. Uh, that should be known uh, to wider audience in India. So that is why we are very grateful uh, uh, to Mayank Agrawalji for uh, sparing time despite his extremely hectic schedule. In the scheme of things, I see a very important role of media in, uh, in spreading the spirit of friendship and creating new uh, linkages between our two countries. Uh, Prasar Bharti naturally in the field of media uh, has the most important preeminent and pivotal position in India. And uh, as an outsider, I really admire the tre tremendous role that has been played by uh, our public sector broadcaster. Uh, the reach, uh, reaching out to the remotest corner of India and, and uh, unifying India is a great service that uh, Prasar Bharti, Doodarshan and All India Radio uh, have uh, contributed to. And uh, Doodarshan under leadership of uh, Mayangji has been very innovative in coping with serious emerging challenges. And now I believe that uh, Doodarshan has um, about 90 different channels, 36 uh, uh, channels on small uh, uh, definition, standard definition and uh, three HD and 51 specialized co-branded educational channels. And Doodarshan programs are uh, enjoying highest gross viewership, uh, unique viewership of about 750 million people. Uh, and also uh, the, uh, the the role that has been played by Doodarshan uh, during the Corona pandemic. I was myself in Delhi and have been firsthand a witness of uh, the criticality of the situation uh, of Corona pandemic. Uh, it was unprecedented in many ways, not only the geographical coverage uh, affecting whole of India and whole of the world, but also how it impeached on every aspect of our life. Whatever we treated uh, as a normal way of living was disrupted and challenged. Uh, and that therefore dealing with Corona in a country as big, as complex, as diverse like India really needed a national effort collective whole of the nation effort and the kind of mass mobilization that was needed that would not have been possible uh, without the charismatic personal leadership of Prime Minister Modi, but also the role of a public sector broadcaster like Doodarshan. So their role in not only educating the people, guiding the people, but also calming them, entertaining them, keeping them positive uh, and keeping their morale high. The role was very significant, particularly because India is going through a political polarization uh, and there were attempts in many quarters to sensationalize uh, because of political motivations and disinformation and misinformation was uh, sought to be uh, disseminated. So role of Doodarshan is becoming with every passing day more and more critical for India. And the, the gold standard that Doodarshan is uh, uh, setting is a role model for uh, the rest of the media. Yet, yet, so let me uh, invite the leader, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the CEO of Prasad Bharti and uh, the managing director of uh, Doodarshan to share his wisdom and inspire us by his thoughts. Thank you, His Excellency, Mr. Akhilesh Mishra, Indian Ambassador to Ireland. The dignitaries who are present, the listeners who have tuned to this lecture across the world, especially Ireland, India, 
and i am really thankful and i appreciate his excellency mr aklesh mishra's efforts to organize this ireland india friendship lecture series this is this is something you are bringing the collective wisdom particularly the great civilization which india is the wisdom from the past which india has spread all across the world in the form of this lecture series which you have encapsulated and you are spreading all ac across in the world so thank you his excellency mr aklesh mishra once again and thank you for inviting me for this special series as you have already said that media played a very significant role in the current epidemic particularly in informing people about do's and don'ts and giving them timely information because this generation in the world first time it was facing such type of situation where it was not known what the future is going to be from the very beginning when this epidemic this was uh, about this the people came to know it was only through the media and then never thought of it that it will have such such a dreadful and difficult aura which around it which is i would say going to be the black aura and where the humans are in this was very difficult for anyone to imagine the role of media was very significant from the very beginning because the first information about the epidemic was given to the world through media and from the spread informing the people about the epidemic its different dimensions and how to check this epidemic that was the media played a very important role i would go to the beginning of the journey that was about uh, in the year 2020 in the month of march when first time the lockdown was imposed and the governments the world over also didn't know what to do at that time even in the beginning there were two views that whether a person should wear mask or should not wear mask so the new information were emerging the people were in dark the governments were in dark the health system was in dark but as you say that always at the end of the tunnel there is light so the humans the governments the medical fraternity the world over i would say they faced this challenge and ultimately emerged victorious before i go to the specifics i would like to share a little bit about india's public service broadcaster prasar bharti it comprises both doordarshan and all india radio both have very wide reach almost reaching to the every nook and corner of the country to the remotest of the places doordarshan has 36 channels as you rightly said that it has 51 co branded educational channels also but these are the 36 channels in all regional languages we are reaching out to the people we have national channels we have regional channels all india radio it has a wide network of radio stations throughout the country the reach of radio in terms of spreading any information in terms of india's number of dialects which are spoken in the country it is it is unimaginable so 
both doordarshan and all india radio they swung into action immediately from the very beginning first was spreading the information about the guidelines and protocols which were coming from the government of india from time to time then informing the people what is the right action they have to do as you know in the beginning and which is continuing even till today which is the when you say that precaution precaution is the best medicine against any disease so it's, it is still continuing that wear mask keep social distancing and sanitize your hands wash your hands so what was in the beginning that apart from uh, disseminating informations about the guidelines the protocols then when the lockdowns were imposed what should be the public behavior they have to stay in homes only in condition of extreme necessity they had to go out even if they are going to the markets the markets only shops which were supplying essentials were open but how to purchase even grocery from those shops stay in the queues so that all information it looks very basic today but that was very important at that time because the people didn't know and telling people that even if you have caught this virus then stay calm stay positive it is not something that you are going to die you have to take all precautions and if there is necessity then you go to the nearest hospital where the covid or covid related treatments that were being provided the immediately what we did as the public service broadcaster was that we started programs on doordarshan and all india radio in which we called the medical experts from the top post institutions medical institutions of the country which included certainly all india institute of medical sciences delhi rml hospitals the government experts and we named this program as called doctors speak and this program became very widely popular it was the phone in program where people could ask their questions and answers were provided instantaneously and this program was conducted not in english or hindi in 18 indian languages in the beginning we had this program once every day but the demand grew so much that we increased the frequency of this program thrice a day so we had morning afternoon and evening so this was on television and the similarly on all india radio with the same branding doctors speak we started program all across the country giving answers to the people's queries immediately second you know when people were staying inside home there were many they had to stay outside homes yeah so you know about corona warriors our doctors our nurses and not only doctors and nurses even if you the your sanitation workers very important your the people though transport was a skeleton but essential transport buses some metros that was reduced frequency but that was still there because you could not completely completely discontinue the transport also so media people because they had to cover and give information so there was a large category of people including you see that in the electricity department in the water supply department they had to go to their offices so we put all these people in the corona warriors categories 
and particularly i would say the doctors and nurses because i saw i went to some hospitals as part of doordarshan sometimes i went to with my team that how they are covering mm -hmm. i really admire the courage of these doctors and nurses uh, that despite yes despite many of them some of them losing their lives eh? they how much they could protect themselves they were touching these people eh? and not bothering for their for their own lives mm -hmm. so the second i would say we were constantly spreading the disseminating stories on corona warriors mm -hmm. from the field mm -hmm. our teams went to the hospitals our teams went to the uh, uh, streets our teams interviewed the sanitation workers that was a mm -hmm. I, i would say in big numbers i i should admire sanitation workers because if sanitation activities are stopped eh, you just see the fill the garbage if it spreads all around it will just multiply the diseases hmm? so these good positive stories that there are people and they were gods they are gods i would say then one very important thing was at that time you know fake news rumors which were spreading so we established a fact check unit Mm. within doordarshan and that fact check unit was checking any uh, videos information which was misleading going to the and telling the people what is the truth mm. for example i will just many of you must be knowing that there was a in whatsapp mm. one information was spreading what was that that you put the lemon juice in your nose if his excellency you also know about this eh? and the virus will be killed and what happened in the process many people burned their nasal tract so the inform misinformation that this there is no virus like corona it is all politics across the world because the vaccine companies they want to sell their vaccines so a lot of misinformation was going around in the world and some self proclaimed doctors also mm -hmm. fake doctors i would say they were involved in this uh, spread of such information which doordarshan was uh, checking and uh, telling people uh, and we had established a fact check unit and i would say it was not only doordarshan the entire media machinery of government of india it swung into action and there is a press information bureau of government of india that was also very active and uh, informing uh, the press about such type of in, uh, misinformation in real time basis then there were issues about because when the misinformation was spreading you know a lot of people they started migrating from the cities to their villages mm -hmm. and that was it could be have become a human tragedy but the government of india swung into action the public broadcaster swung into action and at that time many media houses they were sensationalizing this news mm -hmm. that people are migrating out of delhi migrating out of mumbai they are traveling long distances and all that yes it happened but we presented the right picture and within 2 3 days the situation was controlled uh, because while many private media houses try to sensationalize the public broadcaster is constantly giving the correct information and those even who had left their homes the government has established centers on the way to take care of them so we gave information about that and the one most important step the government has taken at that time because the people's in incomes they were nose diving they were certainly they were 
facing hardships it came up with a unique program which is garib kalyan anna yojana anyway i will translate for the english listeners that that, that is the free ration for the poor people the free ration for poor and needy people so millions of the millions of the millions of the people they were benefited by this scheme the government of india provided them and this contributed a lot in stopping the migration so what we did we covered the stories from the ground and i would say my people in this organization were also corona warriors i share with you during that entire corona period i never stopped coming to the office every saturday sunday i came mm. though i also caught corona and when 15 days i was in bed so that was the only period i could not come to office but even then i was monitoring the entire situation from home a few things i will tell you that it is not only the challenges which are from outside the challenges internal challenges also because when so many services were stopped so many offices were closed but we could not close our office people had to come mm-hmm. i had to manage i had to keep the people's morale higher high because they also are human beings they also have families their husbands and wives at homes were discouraging them to go to office but i admire i praise my all staff people that none of our channels stopped functioning during the entire corona period and continued serving the nation we face situation we lost our people in our organization we organized online counseling for such families many of the our people's relatives we lost them there was but there was a gloomy atmosphere certainly but this could not deter their determination they faced problems within families but they came to office we also reduce the some certain functions which could be done from home we allowed that they should be done from home because in our newsrooms also we reduce the number of people we constantly in every shift after every shift sanitize the newsrooms and let me share with you when the first corona virus was detected in our newsroom what had happened there was panic mm-hmm. and i was facing at that time the transmission disruption situation mm-hmm. we had other than our main office we had a studio in a nearby another building also we decided that overnight we will shift to that studio which was non functional our engineers they worked they made it functional and in uh, and in the morning at 6 o'clock our transmission was resumed for the another studio which the people could not even come to know that we have overnight changed our studio because on air there was no disruption mm-hmm. so i admire my engineers i admire my program production people i admire very much my news people because they were out in the field every day they will ring me up sir this is the problem sir my wife had got covid but i have decided now because i cannot help her so i am shifting to my some other place so that i can come to office i maintained one thing that the staff any of the staff who got covid i try to send them the personal man- messages so keep their spirits high so now i am coming to the second wave which was very difficult in india uh, you know in the year 
it is started around march and or april continued till uh, around june and that was this, that was the way when india really faced a very difficult situation and many people were hospitalized because the oxygen levels in many cases were started depleting so there was a lot of panic we stayed calm we continued in touch with the government agencies the government of india the how and where you can get oxygen oxygen cylinders information real time information on the availability of hospital beds then if people recall there is one medicine which was remdesivir that was being sold at very high rate in the black market and some of the misinformation was going that it is life saving drug though it was not true mm. so uh such type of information right information to the people supply of oxygen and that time the government of india ran oxygen express trains mm. and which carried oxygen supplies from uh, one part to the countries another part so we constantly gave updated situation on this oxygen express and under the able leadership of our honorable prime minister of india we successfully faced that situation and emerged out of the crisis compared to any other country in a much better way we lost people but not that many and then came the vaccination drive mm -hmm. when the government of india that decided that there will be vaccination for all and when this vaccination started then also there were lot of problems faced there was vaccine vaccine hesitancy mm -hmm. there was misinformation spread about this vaccine also we took the stories of vaccine vaccination teams which went all across the country to difficult areas our visuals they were like they are taking the vaccine in boats there were vaccine boats because some some places there was flood in bihar and there were vaccine boats i remember very well one visual i i, I could not bring it today because i didn't sometime mm -hmm. where they had to take a vac take the vaccine in arunachal pradesh mm -hmm. across the river and uh, the this bridge was in uh, in a condition that you could not go across so they made the rope bridge bridge of ropes eh? and they crossed to the other side and took the vaccine so supporting the government of india's efforts in vaccination that was another challenge and we took it from the front uh here i would like to say, share one thing we enjoy the people's trust recently there were three surveys which have been done by oxford and reuters mm -hmm. and in those surveys public service broadcaster doordarshan and all india radio they have stood at the top in public trust compared to any other television or electronic media channels mm -hmm. so that is really uh, the love of the people the trust of the people we enjoy a few more things i i would like to share with you the good news stories mm -hmm. you would have heard of good news stories yes. uh, doordarshan is the first channel which has started good news stories not in corona period but way back mm -hmm. in 2014 15 itself yeah. and we have good news bulletins mm -hmm. half an hour good news bulletins every week where the good and pioneering work being done by the people across the country that is being showcased and i am happy to share that because of our stories there are many people who have come to the focus and have also got the awards like padma shri and padma bhushan in the country so that is the role we are playing to bring the success stories the people's unique work and many people they are in the 
their rickshaw puller tea sellers they have done such remarkable works which the money cannot do so that is the good news story i want to focus ground reports going to the people collecting reports and telling the world about the truth so how the government schemes are working so uh, that is something uh, we are giving constant feedback uh, we have our digital outreach which is also very important uh, uh, we have a uh, twitter uh, we have youtube so a lot of people are, are watching us uh, and reaching us through uh, these mediums also so this is i go to the another thing which if you recall the retelecast of ramayan yes. yeah so the people were inside their homes and uh, it was being discussed that what we should do mm -hmm. and the idea came up that why not we telecast ramayan again mm -hmm. and within 2 3 days we were able to bring and i am happy to share with you that this viewership became world record oh. this was the highest viewed serial mm. at that time let me read it out from here with the rebroadcast mm. of old iconic serials on dd national and dd bharti during the lockdown mm. that included certainly ramayan mahabharat shri krishna Doordarshan again reimposed its position in the hearts of Indians as the national broadcaster. According to a report by Broadcast Audience Research Council of India, Doordarshan achieved its objective to ensure that people stayed at home. In fact, that was the objective. <laughs> so, because of our serials, also people stayed at home mm -hmm. and kept keep them entertained by broadcasting the old classics. so another thing which was ad very adversely affected was education mm -hmm. at that time so during the pandemic period we opened television channel for uh, electronic classes those classes were put on youtube mm -hmm. and uh, uh, almost every state government they utilize doordarshan outreach to reach out to the students in different age groups and of different classes and of different subjects so that was another very great and uh, uh, service which doordarshan played and even on all india radio there were the lectures which were uh, broadcast and people very well appreciated all these efforts in the initial state dd channels aired about 2 and 1/2 hours of educational content daily and all india radio aired about 1 and 1/2 hours of educational content daily and this uh, that was the beginning and it continued uh, some places it was even 5 hours in some states it depended on the state governments also that how much educational content we got then another thing was it's the people's not only physical health the mental health mm -hmm. staying inside homes it very adversely affected uh, children their mental health uh, we uh, organized programs shows on mental health during the uh, pandemic answering the people's questions and uh, that also were uh, those shows also were taken very well so i would put in the words of uh, our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji media has played a praiseworthy role in disseminating information to every nook and cranny of this nation network of media is span india and is spread across cities and villages this makes the media all the more significant in fighting this challenge and spreading correct information about it at micro level mm -hmm. his excellency mr akhilesh mishra ji you know that our motto doordarshan is satyam shivam sundaram so we stand for truth mm -hmm. 
and we stood by truth during this entire period of uh, epidemic the story is very long and uh, actually this last two and a half years of journey it is very difficult to put in uh, 40 minutes but in nutshell i have said these things to you and uh, so we from informing people giving them correct information countering fake news bringing up programs like doctors speak in so many languages and dialects across the country telling them about availability of hospital beds telling them giving them right information real time information on availability of oxygens medicines dose and don'ts guidelines protocols and stay safe so and with all these challenges our machinery continued working 24 by 7 all across the country all 36 channels all 400 plus all india radio stations without any break thank you very much there is no question so thank you sir for sharing your experience in depth knowledge and also an analysis in depth analysis of a role of india's public service broadcaster during the most difficult period of pandemic in india thank you very much sauji i wish to say something yes sir please please yeah uh, agarwal ji sir uh, first of all uh, we are so grateful to you for uh, sparing time i know how busy you are Uh, but you spare time and also you shared your over overview uh, about what happened uh, this uh, during the second wave of corona i was myself hospitalized so i can relate yeah. to what you what you said uh, personally and based on your superlative presentation i have come up with like a couple of thoughts about how do we leverage uh, your experience in in the chilling india island that i is like one is uh, the your initiative of fact check and dealing with fake news and this is a really critical issue for india because we are so diverse so pluralistic uh, so much of multiplicity like uh, all kinds of plurality that exists in india uh, but ireland also is uh, is becoming more and more diverse polarized and pluralistic ireland also has about 20% of its population non european non irish so i see this again very interesting theme uh, for us to have a conversation uh, like how do, how does uh, prasad bharti deal with uh, fact check issues in terms of fake news and misinformation disinformation and what kind of technology is being used what uh, how do you deal with how do you monitor a uh, plethora of uh, platforms which are churning out Uh, information and this this information there is one theme i think with uh, your uh, guidance we can develop some program Se secondly certainly uh, certainly yes uh, sec secondly uh, uh, we have always admired the role of doordarshan and all india radio as platforms for healthy candid honest dialogue uh, not necessarily uh, or even agreeing to the point single point of view but very healthy mutually respectful conversation which we don't find in most other uh, uh, media platforms uh, in india there is a saying that satyam bruyat priyam bruyat na bruyat satyam apriyam but today unfortunately we see most of the platforms are like verbal stone pelting they are not respectful deliberately hurtful so again Absolutely. i think this is again a very significant theme for india island as two vibrant democracy is to have a conversation on like how do we nurture that spirit of healthy discussion healthy dis debate uh, which is accommodative of each other's concern and view point of view without feeling vindictive and uh, deliberately hurtful to others a third is uh, uh, your role of reaching out to different reg regional linguistic groups right? uh, again i think the, uh, ireland you know has two major languages two official language one national language is irish uh, which right. is quite similar to in terms of the predicament that ireland faces with savi irish it's quite similar to sanskrit in india uh, the, okay 
the number of speakers of uh, Irish is about 1% of the population. And uh, like Sanskrit also, the, in India, we have few number of people who are speaking actually, but it plays a mm -hmm. really vital role in our culture, our civilization, our identity. Same is in Ireland. So, uh, again, this is an interesting theme, how a, a, a national broadcaster like uh, yours, how is playing a role in, in, in uh, nurturing, preserving, and promoting a very, very critical language, a very vital language. Uh, uh, so this again, interesting theme I would like to pursue with uh, you, your colleagues. Uh -huh. Third is, uh, I was very, uh, very happy to see the role played by Doodashan uh, in coping with uh, the Corona period, uh, uh, closure of schools and universities, the education uh, uh, platforms, your content. Uh, again, if you can connect me with the technical people who are actually dealing with the generation of educational content for uh, different levels, different subjects. Okay. Again, Ireland is a very vibrant hub of high-end, cutting-edge tertiary as well as uh, uh, pre-university education. So I think this again very interesting area. Thanks to you, it has come to our uh, notice. We, we can work together. How do we leverage the online virtual me medium uh, for uh, educational content? And, and also lastly, uh, uh, Ireland has, all, has, like us, they have dealt with the corona quite effectively and relatively uh, one of the better performers. But there is a huge issue of dealing with post-corona mental stress and trauma. And I know that Dudashan played a key role in uh, bringing kind of a broader uh, holistic approach to dealing with this issue. Uh, not only the modern Western allopathic uh, techniques, but also yoga and Ayurveda. Yes, yes. Huh? That is uh, one uh, very important point you yes. made, yoga uh, and Ayurveda. Yeah, and... So you, you played a very critical role in like creating that holistic package, uh, we, we, which is more sustainable, uh, more affordable, and uh, without any side effect. So mm. That is, again, very interesting area that you have flagged to us, uh, thanks to your presentation. So, uh, His Excellency, yes. uh, certainly we can have uh, more in-depth uh, discussion on that, how we used to do fact yes. check. Yes. Nowadays, there are tools available, even online tools available. Uh -huh. So, uh, one can use those tools and uh, uh, can do uh, the uh, ascertain the truthfulness of yes. uh, the uh, any uh, claims which are going spreading. Because there are certain claims on face value, you doubt. Yes. And then you further do the fact checks. Then educational platform, certainly the Doordarshan played very key role in that. And even All India Radio, there were yes. lectures. And those lectures uh, would, would come to us from the uh, departments, different departments of uh, education uh -huh. in, uh, in, in the states. So uh, uh, those, uh, they produce in their own studios and they uh, bring to us those uh, uh, pre-recorded uh, lectures. Mm -hmm. And you know that those lectures, once you put on YouTube, mm -hmm. so they, its value never dies. Yes. It's always there because these are those lectures. So that is uh, another thing. Third, you said about uh, this uh, language. Yes. Irish language, Sanskrit, and uh, because I know uh, your interest, so such deep interest in Sanskrit, eh? the uh, really, uh, and uh, you being there now in Europe, you know the linkages which Sanskrit has with the world languages. And uh, this is uh, some, something remarkable. That is uh, something very dear to my heart also, mm -hmm. that uh, you find so much uh, commonality, common uh, elements between Sanskrit and uh, European languages. And uh, uh, recently I have met uh, sometime, not recently, sometime back, uh, Lithuania amb ambassador in India. And he gave me a, a Lithuania Sanskrit dictionary. Yes. So uh, this is, this becomes something so uh, interesting. Once you travel to the past thousands of years back, 
that at that time the people were moving from one place to another place and uh, taking their language taking the civilization and it it is the india happened to be hub of civilization and from it is spread to many places and this is uh, another very interesting topic uh, though not my related to my direct work at present but something like i keep on studying so <laughs> so that also certainly we will yes. discuss some time yes uh, thank you thank you thank you sir so we end the program now thank you so much thank, thank, thank you thank you so much thanks for inv inviting me and giving me this opportunity thank you very kind you are most kind thank, thank you, you. Thank you.